Lesson 5.5, .5, apply the remainder and factor theorems. So far, we've done adding, subtracting, and multiplying polynomials. So today, we get to do division. Did factoring, but that's not really division. So we have two types of division. We have long division, which always works. And we'll have another type, synthetic division, which only sometimes works as the shortcut. For long division, it's like long division with numbers. So let's divide these two polynomials. First thing is you write it out. Remember like you did long division. I was a kid in elementary school with numbers. So this, the top goes inside the division symbol. The bottom goes in front. Now notice I'm missing y cubed. I need to have all the powers of y, so I put 0y cubed here, so I have all the powers of y. y the fourth, cubed, squared, first, and a constant. So first things, divide the first terms. y to the fourth divided by y squared is y squared. Put that in the column with the squares. Then you multiply, so we have y squared times y squared minus y plus 1. So y squared times y squared is y to the fourth. y squared times negative y is negative y cubed. y squared times 1 is y squared. Then we subtract. So we're subtracting y to the fourth minus y to the fourth is nothing. 0 y cubed minus 1 y cubed would be negative 1 y cubed or sorry, plus one, because we're subtracting y cubed minus a negative. This is minus a negative, so it becomes like plus. And then we have two y cubed squared, sorry, two y squared minus y squared is y squared. Drop down the next one and repeat the process. Divide the first. y cubed divided by y squared is y. Multiply y times everything there. y times y squared is y cubed. y times the negative y is negative y squared. And y times 1 is y. Subtract. So y squared minus a negative. y squared is plus. So that's 2y squared. And negative minus 1 is minus 2. Remember, we are subtracting. We are subtracting. Bring down the next and repeat the process. 2y squared divided by y squared is 2. Multiply. This is 2y squared minus 2y plus 2. And then we subtract. So we have 2y squared minus 2y squared is nothing. Negative 2y minus a negative 2y is nothing. 5 minus 2 is 3. So our remainder is 3. We write our remainder by saying plus the remainder over the divisor. And so that's your answer. Let's try this one. Make sure we have all the powers of x. We have cubed, squared, first, constant. Good. And then go through the process. So divide the first terms. x cubed divided by x is x squared. Multiply. So we have x squared times x plus 2. This is x cubed plus 2x squared. Then we subtract. So we're subtracting. x cubed minus x cubed is nothing. 4x squared minus 2x is 2x squared. Bring down the next. Divide the first terms. 2x squared divided by x is 2x. 
multiply, so we'll have the 2x times the x plus 2, do 2x squared plus 4x, subtract, 2x squared minus 2x squared is nothing, negative 3x minus 4x is minus 7x. Bring down the next. Divide the first terms, negative 7x divided by x is negative 7. Multiply, so negative 7 times x plus 2 is negative 7x minus 14. Subtract negative 7x minus negative 7x is nothing. 10 minus a negative 14 becomes plus is 24. 24 is our remainder because there's nothing else, so it goes up. So we go plus 24 over x plus 2. Synthetic division. It's a shortened form of long division for dividing by a binomial. So it's only when dividing by x minus r. So here, let's do synthetic division. It's like synthetic substitution. So here's our big long division problem. You see, we have x plus 4. Well, that's the same as x minus a negative 4. So we're going to take that minus 4 and put it in, in the box. Then list all the coefficients with placeholders. So we have the negative 5, x to the fifth, negative 21, x to the fourth, negative 3x cubed. 4x squared, 2x, and 2. If we we're missing any powers of x, we'd have to make sure we put a 0 in for them. Bring down the first number, and then multiply. So it's 20. Add straight down, and then multiply. Four, negative 4 times negative 1. Then add straight down, and you get 1. Then multiply the negative 4 times 1 and add straight down. Then multiply negative 4 times 0 and add straight down. Then multiply negative 4 times the 2 and then you add straight down. Put a box around the last number and that is your answer. No it's not. That's the remainder. The answer is everything that's there. So that gives the coefficients of the answer. It's called a depressed polynomial because we took x to the fifth and divided by x. x to the fifth divided by x is x to the fourth. It lost a power. So the polynomial is depressed because it lost a power. But it will be negative 5x. Okay, so we start with an exponent one less than the original expression. So it'll be negative 5x to the fourth minus 1x cubed plus 1x squared plus 0x plus 2 plus the remainder over x plus 4. Here's another one. See the negative 1 exponent? That means reciprocal the base, so it'll be 1 over y plus 2, so we have y to the fifth plus 32 divided by y plus 2. Remember, this is the same as y minus a negative 2. So the negative 2 will go in the little box. Then we need the coefficients with placeholders. So we have 1y to the fifth, no y to the fourth, no y cubes, no y squareds, no y's, and 32. Bring down the 1, multiply the negative 2 times 1. Add, multiply negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. Add, multiply negative 2 times 4, which is negative 8. Add, multiply negative 2 times negative 8 is 16. Add, multiply negative 2 times 16 is negative 32. Add, and you get 0. Put that in the box. 
Our depressed polynomial is one less degree. We had y to the fifth, we divided by y, so we're now y to the fourth. It's depressed again because it lost a power. So our answer is going to be one y to the fourth minus two y cubed plus four y squared minus eight y plus 16 and there's no remainder. Our remainder theorem says if we take a polynomial and divide by a binomial x minus a, then the remainder equals f of a. That's why we were able to do synthetic substitution way back in lesson one. The factor theorem says that the binomial x minus a is a factor if and only if it equals a or equals zero when you plug in a. Or in other words, if the remainder is zero, it's a factor. Using the factor theorem, you can find the factors and zeros of polynomials. Simply use synthetic division using your first zero, and you get these off the problem or off the graph where it crosses the x-axis. The polynomial answer will be one degree less, and it's called the depressed polynomial because it lost a power. Then you divide the depressed polynomial by the next zero to get the next depressed polynomial. And you continue this until you get a quadratic, what you can then factor or use the quadratic formula to solve. For example, show that x minus two is a factor of this polynomial, then find the remaining factors. So we're gonna put, uh, do synthetic division with our first factor. So we're gonna put the two in the box and have our coefficients of one x cubed, seven x squared, two x, and negative four. Bring down the one, multiply two times one, add and you get nine, multiply two times nine, add you get 20, Multiply two times 20, you get 40. Add and you get zero. Since the remainder is zero, it is a factor, but we already knew that. Now look at the depressed polynomial. That depressed polynomial will be the original problem divided by x minus two, which means all the other factors are still there. We've just divided out the x minus two. It was x cubed, we divided by x, so it's depressed, it's now x squared. So it's 1x squared plus 9x plus 20. Uh, it's quadratic, we might be able to factor that. So we say what times what makes x squared is x and x. What times what makes 20 is 4 and 5. And then we check. Outers are 5x, inners are 4x. 5x plus 4x does in fact make 9x. So all our factors are the x minus 2 that we started with, x plus 4, and times x plus 5. If we multiply those together, we get the original polynomial. And that's it for this lesson. Have a good day.